In example one, we are asked to fill out this table with our five number summaries. We want to start with our minimum, which is, of course, the smallest number in our data set. So in this set, all of our numbers are in numerical order. So I want to start with the smallest number, which is going to be 50. And that will go in our box for the minimum. And then our maximum is the next easiest one to find, which is our largest number in the data set. So that's a 72. Oops, too small. Next, I'm going to go to the median. And the median is basically the number exactly in the middle. So if I look at this set of data, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 numbers in my data set. So I want to find the one directly in the middle. So if I think about 11 and I want to divide it by 2, my answer would be about 5.5. So I want to count 5 in from each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the 60, which probably means 62 is going to be right in the middle. So that's going to be our median. It's cutting the data in half. So 62 is going to be our median. And then our lower quartile and our upper quartile is what is left when we cut this in half. So when I cut this in half here, again, we're going to have directly in the middle would be our 56. So that's going to be my lower quartile. And then up here at the top half of my data, 68 is cutting my data in half. So that's going to be my upper quartile. So I'm going to put the 56. And the 68. And that's how you fill out your five number summary.